Hey everyone, I know it's been a while since my last upload, and there's actually a good reason for that. I had this whole video planned out, showing off a bunch of really cool 3D printer Rubik's Cube. I filmed everything, edited most of it, but then it hit me. None of those models were actually mine, and honestly, the video just didn't feel exciting. So I had to throw the video in the trash. So instead of uploading something I wasn't proud of, I waited until I had something original, something I actually designed. And now I do. Let me show you a project I had been working on, a fully parametric, the 3D printable dressing belt that is as stylish as it is practical. And stick around until the end of the video because I'm doing a giveaway. You might just win one of these belts. This right here is a project I waited for, and I think it was worth it. This is a dressing belt, a fully 3D printed, fully parametric, and completely customizable belt I designed for the Build to Flex contest in Make World. It's stylish, flexible, and it almost prints entirely of TPU. And if you're going for a more realistic look, you can even tweak your slicer settings to give the belt a leather-like texture. Perfect, now let's go through a process of creating your own. I will leave the link in the description. Once that you are there, you're gonna realize that the model I uploaded is different than any other model because it has this icon right here and an extra button. You can customize this model and it's the OpenSCAD script that I was talking about earlier. It has all the variables you need to change anything in the model, but the most important ones are the belt length that is in centimeters that you should use to fit the belt perfectly to your waist. Add around 10 centimeters to the length of your waist and then input the value here. Once that you change any variables in this script, you need to click generate again and the program will take care of updating the model according to the variables. With these three variables, you can activate or deactivate the different parts, the belt, the buckle, and the strap if you only want one part. The other important variable is the belt track width that changes the dimension of the width of the belt if you want to make it thinner. Always remember to click the generate button you can see right here that it changed the width to 3 and it make everything thinner, including these two pieces. Then there is the belt height, which changes the height of the belt. And then there's the start and inner radius. This is a really important variable, being that if you have a smaller 3D printer, smaller than 255, which is this square, you wouldn't be able to print this. By changing this value, you're able to change the total size of the model, making it compatible with smaller plates or even with bigger plates. It is recommended that you make the model as big as it can fit in your plate, so after being printed, it doesn't have issues curling. If you don't, if you don't want to tweak with the settings, the model has a ready-to-print profile for 255 millimeter plates and it has all the sizes. Remember that you should use the size which is the same as your waist plus around 10 centimeters. On the slicer, you can change the finish texture by going to Others, scrolling down and going to Fuzzy Scheme, putting Contour. Found out that these numbers should stay the same and this is the number you want to change depending on how much texture you want. I have tried tests from 0.05 to 0.4 millimeters, and you can see right here the results, and you can choose what finish you like the most. Once that you're ready, you need to slice it, load up your best filament, and print it. Once that the print is ready, you can take it out and make sure it fits, and then proceed to assemble the other parts of the belt. So, to assemble the belt, it's really simple. You just need to slip through a TPU loop and then insert the buckle and clamp it from the back to stay in place. Then, you can add the last TPU loop and that's going to be everything.
to lock it down once you're aware of it. You just need to slip the end of the belt through the two TPU loops. And once that you get it to the right position that you want, you just push down on the buckle and that's going to be it. Now there are some add-ons I created. One of them is this container box. I created this box for either gifting it to a friend or to selling it to a customer. It contains a note that you can put instructions of how to use the belt and a QR codes and it comes in a professional look. Then I created these belt buddies that are different drawings made 3D if you want to add character to your buckle or if you're a fan of a TV show. For now there's only a couple of these options but let me know if you want any other character to be done as a add-on to the belt. So for the giveaway I will be printing and shipping out one of these belts to fit the size of whoever wants it. The rules to apply are real simple. You need to be in the United States, you need to subscribe to my channel, and then comment below something you liked about the video. Thank you for watching, make sure to check out my other videos.